it is me, Johnson Chan, and hopefully uh, everyone had a really good week, especially Christmas, because, uh, well, <laughs> well, unless you uh, are living in Nashville, then you had a uh, rather interesting uh, <laughs> uh, holiday. Uh, I actually am thinking about playing Escape from Tarkov again, so I actually have Pastili's uh, Twitch stream. He's apparently doing a 48-hour stream or something. And they've enabled drops. So I have him on, like, the lowest volume setting. Because I think you have to have the minimum... Like, there has to be some kind of audio. Just, if it can be minimum. minimum, Then you can get some loot. Because I actually got loot yesterday. Like, a key card, a line, and... You know, basically, you know, like... Like a 35% increase in rubles for my account. Because, you know, I just started the account. Like, I just simply logged in. I, you know, make my character select. And then I think because I did it after I got the loot, I don't get the loot. So it's like, oh, man. And I miss out on a key card, too. Oh, well. So, anyway, I took care of that. All right. So, I mean, a lot of crap's happened. But, I mean, there's obviously going to be a massive disconnect between YouTube content and DLive content. Because you want to get the good stuff. You got to be on my DLive. Which is over here, dlive.tv forward slash real Johnson Chan. Because uh, on YouTube, I have to, you know, uh, censor a lot of stuff, all right? Um, so, so anyway, uh, cryptocurrency seems to be doing really well, uh, you know, and wow, look at that. Yeah, we're definitely going to talk about XRP. So, this, yeah, so basically I was right, you know. Um, yeah, like, there's a reason why I pushed back against the, uh, FOMO. Oh, man. I just realized the, I could have made a rhyme, the FOMO H-words, right? But, you know, <laughs> but it rhymes. FOMO H-word. And I'm sure all of you are smart enough to figure out what the H-word is. Yeah, and this is exactly why, all right? People are telling you, you gotta buy before it goes up. You gotta buy before, it, now's the best time to buy. It's like... Like, I always, like, I, I, I don't like people. I don't like that. I don't like that. And I'll just leave it at that. It's, like, really bad. It's really stupid. And it's clearly obvious that you're completely fucking emotional instead of thinking about things logically. So, uh, we'll, we'll get into that. Uh, let me see. I just need to check one more time to see if Trump's tweeted anything new. Because I've been sleeping a lot lately. You know, I, I've been getting, like, 9, 10 hours of sleep, and it's fantastic. But, uh... Unfortunately, it means I'm not sleeping early because I'm just doing a lot of work and I'm still working on my drop shipping store. I've got six products, I think. So now I gotta get like add at least another six, I believe. Uh, maybe I want to do 14, but supposedly something big on happening on January 1st. So I will get into that too. When did you get on the? Uh, I gotta be careful not to say that. Um, what letter? What number is the letter in the alphabet? 17. Okay, so I became a 17th letter head a week or two ago, I think. I don't really know. It's very recent, but uh, it pretty much started with Ron, who then kind of retweeted Major Patriot, and then I really like Major Patriot stuff. He had to delete all his tweets, but he referenced these two guys a lot. So, and then I actually helped out uh, Anonymous uh, Patriot over here with the Joe Biden clip because we were trying to figure out when that press conference thing that dropped uh, yesterday. It did not drop on Christmas like a lot of people were claiming. It was actually in September. We were able to, I was able to figure it out and I gave them all the source, uh, all publicly available. Uh, but... Uh, Actually, we watched it in yesterday's stream if you want to take a look, but he, uh, because the guy that was talking was censored by the U.S. Treasury Department. I remember that from a few months ago, and then I just cross-referenced it with the Treasury Department, and the, I did a Google picture search for the guy's name. It was the exact match, so, and then in that video that the press conference in Ukraine guy did, he literally says at the beginning of the video, I was just sanctioned by the U.S. Treasury Department. So, you know, we were able to put two and two together. Well, rather, I was able to put two and two together. I gave him the info and the replies, and then he basically confirmed it. Uh, apparently, oh, man. Wait, I'm, oh, I meant, oh, man. I, I, I tried to do all my tweets before starting this, but I'm going to have to do this. I need some time. I know that's a thing now, right? Yeah. This is what Pat looks like. Stop the steal. What is this? 
Um, Hotel Harrington will be closed on the 4th, 5th, and 6th. We will not be accommodating anyone except long-term residents. Refunds will be made for all pre... Okay. So they're actually trying to shut down the rally on the 4th, 5th, and 6th in D.C. Um, and what, what was the, what was that term? Trouble in paradise, it seems. Hmm. They are scared. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there we go. They're scared. Yeah, let's make sure. Uh, let's make sure we uh, push this out first before we go on. Because obviously, my my main priority is to really push this, right? Because I su I succeeded in getting Insurrection Act going. So Trump has already crossed the Delaware, crossed the Rubicon. It's I mean, Insurrection Act is actually technically active, right? In all but name. Uh, so, and I'm sure Trump, was, again, was smart enough to redline the removal of his Insurrection Act powers and the omnibus bill. So I think we should be fine. <clears throat> Can I get 50? <laughs> uh, who blocks voter purge? Do you have a Is it sister? Okay. Uh, let's see. Well, totally not suspicious. Or inherently plagued with conflicts of interest. Let's see. Yeah, I'm obviously, I'm obviously being sarcastic, but what do, let's see. Tell you. They think we're stupid. All right, here we go. Very good. So let's throw that out there. Okay, and then we're pretty good. Uh, good morning, South Mini. The IA wasn't mentioned in the NDA or the Omnibus Bill. Um, well, in the original version of the Omnibus Bill, it was. They snuck in in the Omnibus. But in this new version, quote unquote new version the NDA or Omnibus I, I don't actually know but I haven't seen anyone mention it so we'll, we'll have to see <clears throat> I mean the Omnibus itself is like what 6,000 pages and the NDAA I mean I don't know how big that thing is but there's not there's no way they were able to read everything screw Trump and then get their own pork in so there was just not enough time I don't even know if Congress is even meeting today all right, so anyway, uh, let's get into it, and then we'll, uh, because at this point, my, oh, wow, we've actually hit 29,000. Very good. So I actually have a bunch of stuff that I'm curating into my own Twitter now, so we could just go on my thing for the Trump stuff. All right, so Bitcoin searches are still at 27, so that's actually pretty good. So this bull run is... Uh, it's already left the station, but it hasn't exactly picked up full speed, not even close, right? Because basically, this is this I use this to measure normie interest. And one thing I still want to think about is do some sort of random sample raffle survey in the middle of Times Square next year. Uh, and then I'll just stand out in the cold and give away like $20 bills or $10 bills. Actually, that's kind of expensive. So yeah, let's give away $10 bills. And then I just ask people a simple question, write down their name, and then are they are they invested, have they invested money of any kind into cryptocurrency, whether Bitcoin or whatever? It's a simple yes or no, no BS. And then, you know, I just get a random sample size. I mean, I might actually ask Big Alaska to do, like, just come over if he wants to do a live stream here in New York, right? Because I just need someone to do a looking like, record. Otherwise, I would have to do it myself, and I kind of don't want to deal with it because I don't have a phone. This phone is like from 2016 or 2017 or 20. It's an old ass phone, so doesn't quite have the power it used to have. All right, I'm gonna refresh this one more time. Um, is the Pastilli stream still going? All right. Yeah, he's still he's still doing his thing. Okay, good. Because I want to make sure I get my Tarkov drops. So Bitcoin's at 26,600. So it used to be worth up to 28 grand. It's been struggling since because like, you know, I, I think that's okay because I'd rather take this 
little pain now so that we can get decent gains later all right especially since we're coming up with, a, a, with another holiday and then of course the trump stuff is going to be dropping supposedly uh i did sell my litecoin yesterday at like 120 129 dollars for end of the year cash um so that's the other thing too it's the end of the year so people might be dumping crypto just to get cash uh because for tax purposes it's the end of the year right the last day of your tax year is always for most people is always going to be december 31st which also happens to be my birthday i'm hearing footsteps asmr yeah pastilli is let's see what's he up to uh well he just extracted from the woods so um so yeah so that's probably why we won't see any real action until after january first. well when january 1st hits of course we don't know what tr surprise trump has for us which we'll soon uh take a look at here oh holy shit that's a lot yeah this is kind of nice i'm actually seeing traction on my twitter for like for like once after like three four years of getting raped in the ass with no vaseline and without my consent you know my 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 twitter is flying a little free finally you know however you know i'm not going to do like in the past where you just troll bigger accounts to bring up your own profile there there clearly are problems with that that's probably what Carter thought he was going to try to do when he tried cursing me out, and then he got, you know, sh you know, you know, c completely laid the fuck out. So, yeah. Which is why I like the America First movement, right? That's why it's a, that's why this is a lot different, you know, from the, you know, stupid Mike Cernovich days, right? You know, everything's based on Christ, not ego, right? Which is the opposite. Oh, actually, shit, he tweeted a lot of shit. Where a politician would be Nikki Haley. Uh, well, obviously, I can't. Actually, I'll read this off stream, I think. I do want to read this, but it has to be off stream. Oh, great. I really hate that opening a new tab also happens to be very close to the... Uh, very close to the shift key. Uh, Scott Greer. Sport League Entertainment did embrace the ideology, but it wasn't so it was anti-white racism. Yes. Uh, I don't have anything witty to say. I don't want to get bad. That's why I didn't go too crazy yesterday on uh, this thing, even though I really wanted to. Oh, locked and blocked in a co oh, total groiper victory. Oh, yeah, did she block me? I'm actually curious. Did she block me? Uh, let me see. <laughs> you dumb bitch, you dumb cunt. <laughs> okay, well, she didn't block me, but she went into protection mode. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, man, you, you know I got to retweet this. Hold on, hold on. Um, total group. Oh, whoops, hold on. Yeah, total for... I, oh yeah, I gotta come up with something witty to say. Uh, because she, I, I do want to address this dumb cunt too. Um, let me just come up with something witty to say. Total dumb. Uh, total dumb. Christine also went into, oh yeah, you can see it there. Yeah. Well, whatever. I'll just put it just in case some people are too lazy to click the picture. To prevent uh, us from investigating. Colorful fast. Because I really wanted to go lay in, but then if I do that, I'm going to get banned, so... Uh, I want to say Thought Patrol, but you can't say that. So, uh, okay. Thought. All right, we'll do that. I think that's pretty safe. Okay, because if I get banned, it's uh, it's gonna be a problem. I'll put it, let's put it that way. It'll be a problem for us. All right, I got us Insurrection Act essentially. So now we gotta push to whatever it is Seventeenth uh, Letter Head wants us to do. So you know, I'm all in on this. You know, the great threat to America and the Chinese. Then really, South Carolina, we really one. 
Huh? Really? Really? Oh. Oh. I did pull it. At this point, I can't tell who who hates us. Uh, seems like every foreigner wants to take us now. And they 100% do. Yeah, I did, there was some kind of mention that supposedly our allies would actually attack America. That's why we have, we have like, uh, defense or carrier fleets on both coasts of America right now. Because when this shit starts going down, we start, Trump starts seizing assets. It's going to piss off a lot of foreigners. Specifically people outside of America who have assets here in America. Because we're just going to take their shit. Uh, <clears throat> Okay, uh, yeah, hey, all right, well, we gotta get back into the thing, so I'll just retweet that. So, anyway, oh, yeah, that's right, I forgot about chat. Um, I hate getting blocked by people I don't talk to. Ah, well, welcome to the club. Uh, I never said anything about Linda Sarsour, but she blocked me. Um, and then you also have that dumb, fake, conservative cunt. Uh, I know her face, but if, if you mentioned her name, I know, I'm trying to remember, recall her name. She works for the Washington Post. Not Jennifer Rubin. It was someone younger than that. She did the same shit to me. I think she still has me blocked. I know a lot of people that blocked me, and I never said anything about them. I will use my stimulus money invest in crypto. Yeah, that would be a good play. For me, I already have kind of enough, and because I'm relying on my drop shipping, hopefully, to get me money, and then I'll be using that for crypto. Weirdo police, try that. Eh, it's not strong. I, you know, I'll, I'll just do the self censor thing. Put the letter and then I put asterisks. And then, you know, if, if, and then I'll just, if I get fake news trouble, I'll just say, well, show me the tweet. And I'll just say T, asterisk, asterisk, asterisk. And I'll just say, oh, tool controlled. Right? But, you, but then it's like, oh, well, you know, I can get censored and banned for anything. So you know, I just let it to the imagination. Right? Plausible deniability. Like, what are they going to do? Nato is a threat because it can drag us into a war at any time. Oh, yeah, that too. Yeah, that too. Kind of weird that Beatty would actually say Nato is a bigger threat than CCP. I mean, I don't know. Like, I mean, I've done basically a 180 on that whole thing. I mean, I don't even read the uh, Daily Wire.su because Andre Wang is just like, he's like completely oblivious to all this stuff. So I, I think it's because his 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 natural black pilling stuff is really just screwing up his mind. So it's like yeah. Neil's interest is to safeguard. Uh, uh, we're going. We're going. We're putting this on YouTube. Uh, big tribe. Yeah, we'll, we'll call it big tribe for now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's that. I mean, we'll 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 see as time goes on. You know, for now we're just taking it one day at a time. All right, so let's see. Talked about that. Litecoin's at 125. Yeah, I don't even want to buy a dollar coin or any of these other coins. Uh, but Chainlink has actually gone up. For like one day, it actually went up. Not surprisingly, it's gone back down. Yeah, I don't know what's up with Chainlink, but I do like the concept of Chainlink because as a, I mean, I don't know if I'll go back to programming. Even though I spent a whole this entire 2020 learning, reteaching myself how to code. You know, if it makes it easier for someone like me to just simply flip on like a chain link thing, then I can start taking crypto payments, then I'd be interested. You know, uh, but yeah, let's talk about Ripple next. Uh, Village Weasel, thanks for the ice cream, yes. Yeah, DLF has not gotten back to me. I don't think I'm getting my money back. Like, and today is the day they send out payments. I'm like so pissed. You know, these pieces of F-word shitheads and predicted steal my money by closing the markets. And then DLive, like, they apparently don't know anything and they everything's insecure. And then, like, they let me lose and let people steal lemons. Uh, I mean, it's only 4,000 lemons, but I want that payment threshold because it's 4250 I would be getting my payout now if I didn't lose my 4,000 lemons. So, you know, and I can use the money. So now I'm just irritated. Ah, it, it just never ends, you know, it just never ends. Like, I, I'm surprised God is as powerful as he is and he's able to overcome all these stupid things that I have to deal with. But, you know, that's just how it goes. Oh, wait, there's more stuff I missed. America can crush NATO in only a month. Well, all I have to do is just pull back all the checks. He also forced to be nice to China. Uh, 
Do you mean Trump? No, that doesn't. What? Oh. Uh, I don't know. I thought Trump was not being nice to China. Or at least he's trying his best to be aggressive as possible. All right. So I don't want to AA. I don't know who AA is. Um, but uh, what was I saying? Not Trump. Oh, Andre Wang. Well, why would he be forced to do that? He's not living in China, is he? I think he said he was living in Nigeria. If he's living in China, then that would explain a lot, actually. Yeah. Oh, that might be it, yeah. I thought I, I thought Andre Wang said he was living in China, or living in Nigeria. Right, right, okay. Wow, oh, hmm, interesting. I did not know that. I did not know that at all. His site is hosted in China. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, in that case, that makes a lot of sense. Then, yeah, he, yeah he's got to play it safe. Got to play it safe. Yeah, maybe that's why DLive's not going to give me my lemons, because maybe they would they would normally do it, but then they're like, well, he's talked about China and CCP a lot, and we don't want Beijing breathing down our neck, so we'll just have to just leave it at B, which sucks, which pisses me off. But <sighs> well, That's just how it goes, all right? Um, all right, anyway, so I just have to hope the hacker doesn't actually start streaming on behalf. That's the only vulnerability left because I can't because I'm change I'm trying to change the stream key and it keeps re repeating the same stream key. It's very annoying. All right, anyway, uh, so Ripple has continued its downward slide. It's you know the absolute support line was like twenty four cents or twenty five twenty four point five cents. So now it's pretty obvious that Ripple is just you know just dying here. Uh, we're actually gonna let's see coinbase says it will halt following halts yeah so i know i mentioned this before i don't think i tweeted about this but the sec has a lot of power throughout this whole world so all so even though there's a lot of worldwide entities uh united kingdom japan switzerland and i forgot the other country that says xrp is fine it's a cryptocurrency the sec can still impose their own will on all the other countries in the world all right you know america is still the big bully that it always is so if the sec doesn't like something they can make you they can make you suffer so that's another risk that's basically being priced in right now and that's why i'm still not going xrp because this shit just it's following exactly the same pattern as this right when the crash happened Goes all the way up, then crashes. Goes up a little bit, dead cat bounce, crashes a little more, dead cat bounce again, and then the final crash, and then it just bottoms out. Because that's exactly what happened with kick coin. You'll see the exact same thing happening here. See, because I'm not a FOMO H word, right? I do want to give myself one, one, one. I better not, I better not. I'm getting I'm getting pretty big. Getting pretty big now, so um let me see if we can make this smaller so we can see all right here we go so as you can see it did the exact can, uh, can i turn some of this off oh yes we can there we go all right because we don't need all those stupid lines we just have the price so kickcoin was pretty high up here right i can't even go up there uh, oh my god also, I thought it was worth like three, four bucks or something. Anyway, it was up here, and then you can kind of see. Right, let's put it down here. It goes up and down, up and down, up and down. This thing is a lot more violent, though. This thing was way more violent. And then dead cat bounce, and then it finally bottoms out. Right? Kitcoin was a lot more uh, unstable. That's probably because Kitcoin had no infrastructure, like unlike XRP that does have infrastructure. That's why their fall looks, you know, a little bit more stable. But whatever the case is, you know, we have to see a deep state risk, right? Because Brad Garlinghouse, the CEO of Ripple and XRP, he's doing all these deals with all these deep state corporations and these big corporations like Bank of America, JP Morgan. So when this Trump stuff finally blows up in everyone's faces, I don't know what kind of damage it's going to do to Ripple, if anything. So that's a new risk that... Aside from myself, no one has fucking mentioned this at all, all right? So, so that means basically you and I know something that everybody else does not. That's how you actually invest, too. That's the uh, Ken Fisher style of investing. What do you know to be 
true that is actually false, or you can reverse it. What do you know to be false that is actually true? All right? That's actually a, I believe it's called a corollary. All right? It's been a while since I did my math logic class you know, from high school. But basically, you know, it's called a whatever, a corollary. I think that's the word. Uh, and then it's the same thing, right? In this case, I know that this thing could very well be deep state connected. So when Trump goes ham and starts arresting everybody, this could be a real problem for Ripple. So from what, but so I just have to hope that Brad Garlinghouse is not a pedal bear. All right, if he's a pedal bear, then I don't think I can ever touch Ripple again. The, um, I think, oh, I read that. They also don't like people that talk about Jesus. Oh, who, who? NATO? Oh, if that's the case, then yeah, that's a problem too. Yeah, a lot of people have, are hating on uh, Big JC there. And I'm not referring to my own initials. But it makes sense, right? Because, you know, a lot of people are owned by a big tribe. They also don't like people that talk about Jesus, D-Life. Oh, really? I don't know. D-Life doesn't seem to be particularly aggressive against Christians. I mean, they still allow Nick to stream. I haven't had any problems myself. You know, so, yeah. I don't know, but I'll definitely keep that in mind. But, um, I don't know, Jaden McNeil doesn't have any problems, right? And basically everybody on in the America First movie doesn't seem to be having problems with D-Line when they stream, that I'm aware of. Uh, but, I mean, there's always bitwave.tv, right, if all else fails, right? I know Catboy Cammy is, like, pretty big on there. And, in fact, Andre Wang had to leave there because the servers kept dying on Bitwave, so... We do have backups, you know, we do have backups. Yeah, so XRP will continue to tumble. I do want to look at their chart. So it can drop all the way down to $1 billion market cap and it'll still be like, uh, Ripple will still be, what rank? Around the 29th rank. All right, so I do want to take a look at this. Uh, yeah, because for the most part, I don't really look at the market news on fin Yahoo Finance anymore because our system is so corrupt that there's no point in reading all their bullshit. Because at this point, they're just running interference for global pedo. Uh, just give me the three-monther. All right, so, okay. Well, now we know we can do this. All right, so today is Coinbase. So it should be, if we're lucky, it does like Kitcoin. It should be 95%, but that's the absolute bottom. Because Ripple does still have a lot of infrastructure and relationships and business contracts, I assume with you know all these global corporations and other governments, it's not going to be, you know, I don't know when the bomb's going to be, but it should be pretty clear because it should just continue to bottom out. Now, what's interesting about this is there's no dead cat balance. It just wants to go straight down. That's always a red flag. So I'm definitely want looking to get into Ripple, but I want to wait till you know the bottom is clearly in. Uh, so, yeah, I had people thank me, too, like, uh, I don't want to name names, but there's like, yeah, I listened to you, Johnson, I saved a lot of money, right, thousands, tens of thousands, all right, you know, because I'm not going to be at a, a, a FOMO H word, right, are in tapping into, I don't know what you're asking, are we tapping into, oh, I'm definitely not, but I will definitely be buying Ripple when it bottoms out, that's what, I, that's why I'm still watching XRP, right now, bad time bad time right you can still buy it be wrong and then wait like a year or two that's fine for me no that's not fine <laughs> i'm not willing to do it i don't want to talk about puma all right he's a little he's too closely related to Cargate, so i haven't unfollowed him on twitter but i'm not responding to puma at all so yeah, and I thought Puma gave me really bad advice, especially with predicted. So that's also another red flag. If you if you consistently gave me advice and I lose a lot of fucking money, which is basically what Puma did, uh, that yeah, that doesn't put you on my complete shit list like Ali Akbar and Cartergate, but it it does it does make me like okay, I'm not gonna listen to any of your dumb shit, you know. So uh, and then I kind of just answered your question about XRP. So. Um, Let's see. They don't really go out of their way to hurt you, but they also won't help. Yeah, that's fine. You know, what matters is, are people trying to hurt us? That's really the more important thing. If people don't want to help us, then that's fine. We can help ourselves and each other. Jesus will come back and build a new Jerusalem, Israel, 
Oh, I, I, I gotta be careful. Uh, Revelation 3.12. Um, yeah, I mean, I assume, yeah, I do assume that's what's gonna happen with Jesus. He will come back. And he works through us, you and me, who believe in him to, you know, make it happen. I don't know. I follow everyone. Carter got anal by Franson, though. Oh, so it was Steve Franson. Yeah. <laughs> this is why I never give advice. At best, I give options. What if scenarios? Yeah, I mean, I've been doing this a long time, and I'm, I've got no problem giving advice. Because it's a skill like anything else. That's why I'm so good at it. But people don't like taking the, uh, the shame and fear risk. Well, I mean, well then, uh, how, how do you expect to succeed in life, you know? You know, there's nothing wrong with going out and just living a regular, ordinary life. I was always sus about predicted, glad I didn't invest in the end. Yeah, you're very lucky. I lost $11,000. I still have my Mike Pompeo bet active, but I'm pretty sure even if everything goes our way, especially on January 6th, and then I can email predicted saying you resolved it incorrectly, give us, give me my money. You know, it's a, it's going to be a struggle because they, because they specifically closed it very quickly. So I assume deep state influence is involved or at least CCP involved it. So, oh, that's the chat. Okay. So for the most part, I'm staying out of XRP. It continues to drop. I see no sign of it uh, flatlining yet. That's what I always say. There's no flatline. Too much uncertainty. But now that Coinbase is shaking out, everyone else is also dumping XRP. I'm sure, Coin Telegraph must got must have some articles of use. Um, so yeah, but Ethereum's doing pretty well too. So that's always a good sign. All right, let's see what fake news terrorists have for us today. I also dumped all my AMD calls. I already tweeted about this because it's. I mean, at this point, it's pretty obvious. I'm a crypto guy. I'm not a stock option guy. So it's like you know what? I don't want to deal with it. So just hold my stocks. No options on stocks. Uh, I do have an AstraZeneca thing. Yeah, see, it's going back up. So uh, that's a loss of eighty bucks. Yeah, you know what? Uh, I'll probably sell. So I'll probably sell in January my AstraZeneca uh, put option. I only spent like eighty bucks on it, but you know, getting a lot of extra cash is nice. And I'll just buy up more um, Rebel stock. <clears throat> stocks hit record highs, adding to year-end rally. Okay, well. Yeah, see, it doesn't. The economy does not feel like uh, the Dow's at thirty point four k. Apple hits record after December surge sends it past Amazon, right? Because they're looting from the middle class. U.S. home price growth surges at pace not seen in six plus years. So there's still people getting uh, making money, right? But you know, here's the thing: Republican areas are actually not shut down. It's only Democrat areas that are shut down. So that's kind of an interesting dynamic. What's up, my man? How's the store? Oh, hey, Ryan. Yeah, it's going well. It's going well. I put in six products. I'm specifically looking for high profit margins because there's another guy that said that he does drop shipping too, but he didn't want me to disclose any details about him. But he did say he uses Taobao and he uses Instagram and he makes a lot of money doing drop shipping. So his advice was just concentrate on the high profit margins, 40 to, 40 to $100 net profit, which I like because time is an issue, right? If I'm processing an order for a, a dollar net profit, it's the same exact time and uh, hassle as like a hundred dollar profit margin, right? It's the same. It's the same thing. It's just like real estate, a dinky little one man house, single family home. It's the same effort as you know a ten billion dollar building. So you know, and obviously I have limited time. Um, how is everyone poor but stocks are high? Well, yeah, exactly, because they're looting the middle class and giving it to themselves and buying up all this shit. That's what's happening. It's the wealth transfer. I'm concerned about the housing market, such as a bubble. Well, I think right now the housing market's fine. And uh, right now they're also pausing the evictions, right? So unless you're doing commercial real estate as a renter, you're, there's no problems. You will basically be able to squat in. You're still responsible for paying back your mortgage, uh, your rent, though. Invest in precious metals, incoming inflation. Nah, I mean, you, I, I mean, you already know my stance about precious metals. I hate precious metals. But if Nasera, if Nasera goes through, you know, and Trump does abolish the Fed and IRS, he does want to create a gold, silver, and platinum coin standard. So, you know, return America to like 
basically what it was before 1913 uh, with the with the stupid Federal Reserve Act. Thoughts on gold, etc. Oh, I just uh, answered that. Yeah. I mean, if you want to do gold and silver, I guess fine. But you give me, you make so much more money with cryptocurrency. So I mean, I'm already because I sold. 53.5 litecoins yesterday at $128 and I got like 6,500 bucks for it. So I, I didn't I didn't really do much for it either. I just kind of accumulated from my uh, mining income. I just realized that I send my daily stuff to Crex. Uh, oh my God, I completely forgot to send myself money to Crex. Oh God. Uh, I don't want to keep pausing this, but maybe I can. All right. Uh, I also need to turn on my proxy because we got to go on Crux, so I don't want those idiots revealing my IP address. All right, so I might go down for just a few seconds while I connect to Sao Paulo, Brazil. Okay, why is this taking so long? All right, come on. All right. Uh, of all the days. All right. God, come on. All right. All right, let's see if Amsterdam is up. All right, I think there's a pro Yeah, there we go. All right, I am now... Oh, wait. No, we can't do Amsterdam because that's in the fucking EU. No, 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 no. Hold on, I gotta find a new. Um, how about Mexico? Mexico should work. Oh, Israel is listed here too. Yeah. Uh, Mexico City, ninety-eight ping. All right, let's let's try Mexico. All right. <clears throat> All right, come on. What the hell is wrong with the Western Hemisphere right now? Like, all their fucking proxies are, like, down or some shit. Oh, even Mexico's not working. <sighs> My God, this is getting... This, all right, how about Japan? Maybe Japan's working. Wait, Japan... Oh, there it is, Japan. Well, let's see. Tokyo's pretty wired. It's not deep state, there's just something wrong with the fucking VPN shit. All right. Now let me try and see if I can answer while we're connecting. If we go back to America pre-World War One in terms of government regulating, that would be nice. Yeah, just repeal the income tax and fine, just fine with tariffs. Uh, fun with tariffs. Yeah, that's what Trump's attempting to do in Nisera. No income tax if you get married and didn't have kids. You all that? Yeah, income tax won't exist if Trump abolishes the Fed and IRS. Even Tokyo's fucking up. What the f... Alright, this is actually starting to really annoy me. Because I... Oh my god. Alright, I don't know why everything's like fucking up today. This doesn't normally happen. True, deep state, it's still happening. Maybe thoughts on moving to... I'm moving to Florida. I'm, I specifically want to move to Tampa, Florida. The problem is, commercial real estate still seems to be a little difficult to do there. So... Alright, let's try this again. Like... What is wrong with this piece of shit? Alright, we're gonna just try to wait on this, see if this works. In the meantime, I gotta try to send myself money anyway. I can't believe I forgot to send myself money to Crux, get my daily money income going. Yeah, uh, so let's see. How much was yesterday? I sent 1700 coins. Alright, obviously, I'm, you're not gonna be able to see this because obviously this is supposed to remain hidden. Okay, uh, let's see, then I'm going to send my infinite ricks out. Too hot though. Florida seems base. Yeah, I mean, Tampa, the problem with Tampa is it's starting to turn uh, light blue. It's leaning towards blue. Uh, but if I get in there, maybe I could cause some damage and then turn it back red. Yeah, I mean, it sucks that it's hot, but I mean, at this point, I need to look a kind of conservative slash Republican run area. You know, I want to be around hotter women, right? Because I do have to get a girlfriend or a wife eventually. Um, 
Also, it's a lot cheaper there too. You know, that's that's another big uh, big appeal. So they're like, there's every reason for me to leave New York City. So. Uh, okay, what the fuck is wrong with the, okay, private VP, okay, we gotta find this out. Actually, I can't go to private VP because it reveals my fucking IP address. Yeah, the only thing that's working is the fucking, e I guess I'm just gonna have to just take a risk and just go to Netherlands then. Yeah, because a lot of their servers seem to be down. A lot of their servers seem to be down. Yeah, I, I connected to Netherlands just fine. All right, but just in case, I'm, I'm going to hide my browser. All right. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm not logged into Crex, so I should be okay. Yeah, okay, there we go. All right. I had to, because it detected that I was in the EU, and I had to hit, accept the cookies. All right, so holy shit. Yeah, we're, yeah, XRP's getting uh, wrecked. All right, so we're good. All right, we're, we're in Amsterdam, but... Uh, okay, that's that. All right, so... Does America prefer student lower payment work? Oh, that's great. Enslave the students and then enslave them even more by repaying... This is just slave labor. That's basically what this is. Oh, social distancing. I'm so sick and tired of this coronavirus bullshit. Here's how Trump's 2K students get jolt. Blah, 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 blah. Alibaba regularly rolls and Nirvana set up for Fang's thoughts. Says, oh, yeah, there was something in the finance discord regarding Alibaba, but I forgot. I, but it was pretty good for Baba. So I do want to take a look. What's their stock price? Um, I don't know. Oh, my God. I agree. Wow, the EU has so many restrictions. Um, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so Baba's doing good. However, it could be a dead cat bounce. What happens to assets if we transfer to a new currency backed by gold and crypto? So anyway, we're paid a new currency. Well, this, again, Nasera is going to forgive all student loan debt and mortgages and stuff like that. So it's going to be a complete game changer. But, I mean, that's a little bit far away. We have, First, Trump has to get back into office, right? And then he has to start cleansing deep. Uh, deep state and then once he does that then he has to figure out how to deal with Congress because he wants to change the way Congress works so that we'll never have to deal with this lobbyist stuff uh, and then whether he's able to implement the uh, ending the Fed and the IRS I mean he's got, he's got a lot on his plate do you know a decent options trading platform for UK EU there is actually one if you're referring to crypto options actually let me get you the thing because there is one specifically designed for the EU. Because we use Ledger X, because I'm an American, so I have to use Ledger X. Crypto, uh, I'm assuming you're asking about crypto options. Actually, I should have typed in website option. <sighs> Fuck. I can't imagine living in the European Union, because this is really fun. <laughs> this is so irritating. Yeah, that's the site. Deribit. You use Deribit if you're in the EU. Uh, let me make sure it's the site that I'm thinking of. I think it's this one. Yeah, this looks like the site. Um, so you use Deribit for options trading if you're in the EU. Uh, they also have Ether uh, Ethereum options too. So that's actually pretty cool. That's actually better than Ledger X. Uh, normal and crypto. Well, for normal, you'll have to... I don't want to give away my stock brokerage, but I don't use E-Trade. I do not use Ameritrade. Too many fees and E-Trade costed me all my money. Uh, back when Bear Stearns was crashing. Pieces of sh evil shits. By withholding my money for six to eight months. Well after, and then never get crediting me my fucking money. So, you know, it's like I'm so, like these evil fucking, you know, brokers and shit, they really pissed me off. But, you know, what are you going to do? And because I didn't get the 30, 40 grand from sh buying Bear Stearns puts on the weekend it happened. You know, I kind of leverage that money easily in a cryptocurrency, Bitcoin mining. And then, you know, this entire movement would have been very different. All right. But, you know, Satan constantly is just being a massive, you know, F word. You know, it's very aggravating. But, you know, what are you going to do? All right. I don't see anything else there. So, all right. So let's take a look. I mean, I'm not even sure I want to even look at the old stuff anymore, but. Uh, oh, that's interesting. So GMC coin has gone back to one to two. 
Oh, okay, that's good because I actually got the Ethereum market open for JMC. So that actually opens this up too, so that's good. So JMC is at one sub Satoshi to two. Um, so that's good. Oh, so that might mean that two by two and all the other coins might do something similar. Seems like options is hassle. I just have normal stocks on trading 212. Yeah. Uh, let's see. So that's JMC. 404. 16. Well, 14 to 17. Yeah, eventually it'll just go down like everything else. You know, once the supply reaches some sort of hyperinflation. And 2 by 2 I already have my poll up, but basically it's stuck at uh, one Satoshi, but I'm bringing it down to three sub Satoshi, so we'll be able to trade on Crux again. Maybe if I have enough money, maybe I'll open up the F market for two by two. But I don't know if I want to spend that much money on it, to be honest. Um, you know, and on top of that, I don't have control of the project at all, so it's like, what, you know, what am I doing? Uh, Rick's. Rix will also have the same problem. Uh, it's one to two. Uh, eventually, we'll have to open this up to three sub Satoshis. I am still kind of hoping it could just simply survive on three sub Satoshis, but you know, I can worry about that later. Let's see. 100 coin, of course, uh, has actually improved. Oh, that's a good sign. Uh, wow, a lot of people have bought. Damn, I wish I put. I wish I kept my uh, sell order active then. So someone bought a shit ton of 100 coins, so that's good. So now it's actually at three Satoshis. <clears throat> it's at 1.6 to three Satoshis. So this is good. This is very good. Um, very good. Very good. So, well, shit, man. Well, let's see. Right now I'm trying to sell 20,000 of the units of these. So this is 60,000 sats. That's not bad. How much is 60,000 sats? BTC USD. Oh, that's not bad. I get $16 for this, if I can get it. All right. Oh, shit. Well, I'm glad someone's actually buying up some of this fucking coin. So, all right. So that's good. So, speed, so 100 coin doing really well. Speed coin's also doing better. That's always good. Thanks to the two lemons, Mini. Do you think Chainlink will have a future? I have no idea what's wrong with that coin. I like the concept of it, but I do zero research on it because it always underperforms. You know, it... With the exception of one day, it's always been going down. So it's like I, I'm not even interested. But how does that? How is that coin like a top ten coin in coin market cap? It's 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 just weird, you know. So and in the meantime, I'm just gonna wait for it to actually. Basically, I don't want to profit. I do not want to profit off a of chain link, but I do want to see it reach like 300 bucks a coin, because then I will actually take a look at it. Because that probably means they solved whatever fundamental problem is what is wrong with the coin. Because again, I'm a fundamentals guy. I'm not a technical analysis guy. Because 99% of technical analysis is fucking worthless. But we go to this idiot, all right? He's very much into XRP and he just can't like come to grips with this shit coin. Right, he's still saying, oh, 90% blah, 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 like XRP is solid. It's only in America, it doesn't matter. Yeah, well, it does matter, dumbass. Right, and then, yeah. So, and then he, he's putting out, yeah, see, he hasn't even said anything recently, as of 16 hours ago. Well, what, what bullshit, technical analysis bullshit is he to come up with this time? Actually, I want to see, are people bitching at him yet? Well, Opico holding this is huge. Imagine holding something similar with Bitcoin for, yeah, exactly. Actually, I'm going to retweet this guy. Yeah, no opportunity cost. Well, there is an opportunity cost because you're still holding your crypto. Like, this is this is how it's... Uh, it's, it's fucking idiot scams. All right, this guy does not deserve his Twitter following. I fucking deserve his Twitter following. All right, well, whatever. He can, he can make every, everybody that follows him can lose all their money and then, you know, have problems at night sleeping. All right, anyway, back to Speedcoin. So the buying pressure is still like, eh, right? But I think that's because crypto is actually retreating. So exotics, as we call as I call this, are going to do better. Because obviously Bitcoin's not going up as much, so people are going into this for a little bit. So it's at 19.1 to 35 Satoshis of Bitcoin. So not too bad. Still not the greatest. Ugh, trade volume could still be better. Mm. Oh, well. All right, well, that's just how it goes, I guess. 
So there's BitChute. Oh, that's right. I've got to upload. I really don't want to deal with BitChute, but it has been getting a lot better lately. And then apparently we got a lot of... Yeah, we're doing pretty well on YouTube. Yeah, so that's good. All right, so let's see. Yeah, let's see if we can find some decent articles with XRP. Uh, yet, oh, New York authorizes first yen stable coin operator in America. Okay. Coinbase and others will suspend XRP trading as price drops in our 10%. Okay. Well, we kind of already know that BlackRock is looking to hire a blockchain VP with experience in crypto. So BlackRock Group is also getting in on cryptocurrency. So that's always a very good sign. Very good sign. So yeah, this is crypto boom. This bull run is going to be the biggest ever in recorded history which is very short so it's going to be massive way bigger than the 2017 all right again for those of you who are new city group said three hundred eighteen thousand dollars bitcoin by uh december 2021 i called five hundred thousand on april let me see we could probably Let's see if we can find my video. Uh, oh yeah, there it is. No thanks. Will you get out of my way? God, this is this is so G word. All right. So April third, twenty nineteen, and I'm yeah. I forgot to upload five Bitcoin videos a week, and I'm on archive. Okay. Uh, blah, 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 blah. 500,000. Okay, yeah. So this is what I wrote. This is on my this is my old channel where I put all my political stuff to and I just kept getting hit with community strikes. So I had to so I got like what, a 3 or 6 month ban, I forgot whatever the ban time was. And uh, so I had to create a second channel, which is what you're, you know, what I'm now using. But yeah, 500 grand. World Series 26. Oh yeah, so I eventually got rid of this the because i ran out of title space because you didn't get the keyword stuff your titles yeah oh look at that look at that funny funny uh little yeah i did yeah i was pretty fat back then you know shit yeah because i was like 203 pounds so yeah man that was, what a long time ago this was yeah so i'm still i'm still holding 500k i'd say i changed my mind but i'm not gonna be changing my mind Curious views Bitcoin's end of year fate. Well, it's obviously not going to hit 30 grand. Uh, I mean, it still could, but it doesn't seem like it wants to. It would be nice if it did, but maybe it'll do it after January 1st. I mean, it's just, you know, how it goes. Simplex partners with Visa to issue crypto debit cards. That's good. Um, I mean, on the one hand, more mainstream adoption is good, but on the other hand, obviously, if more big corporations get their hands on crypto, you know, they'll just start squeezing and censoring people but luckily cryptocurrency is very vast and very difficult to i mean the cat's already been out of the bank for several for like almost a decade now so censorship will be a lot harder um and again as long as trump doesn't fumble this right and this 17th letter head stuff that's been going around that everyone's getting kind of impatient about doesn't actually turn out to be bullshit you know then we'll be very so we'll be on solid footing uh, India is now pondering a Bitcoin tax law to target the $5 billion market. Yeah. Well, I'm not surprised. How low can XRP go? Watch these price holes. So this is technical analysis. f wordry. We're not interested in that. Ricardo Salinas Palego is invested in Bitcoin. Um, that's actually kind of important. I'm not interested. I bought the around five hundred dollars and then i started and so, so i thought i'm a genius uh this is just an interview how much is he buying now that's all i care about okay yeah he's clearly a white dude so he's actually like a spanish white guy right because a lot of people get confused about mexicans are, are we referring to the dark-skinned mexicans or are we referring to the white mexicans He's worth 12.6, Rick and Richter's, okay. <clears throat> um, Latin America. 
So as reported by Bloomberg, your bigger listed assets, which is conglomerate Grupo Electra, SAB, and TV Azteca, slumped by 10 and 60% respectively this year. Did your Bitcoin investments help to make up for some of those losses? I'll read China a sec, I'll listen <laughs> No, 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 no. Not even close. But you know, again, those are my, my main uh, equity investments. Uh, and they happen to be quoted listed, but they're not for sale at, and at any price. They happen to be quoted, listed, but mm. they're not for sale and at any price. So I'm not worried mm. about the valuation of my, my companies. I'm not in the stock selling business. I am in the money making business. And as, as long as the companies continue to make money, we're very happy. Okay, okay. All right, not too bad. Yeah, he seems like a nice guy. So from the way it sounds, he didn't buy much into crypto. See, if I had like, you know, a couple million dollars, I would be all in on Litecoin right now. And then I would turn it into like $50 million or $100 million or whatever. <sighs> it's a very frustrating experience to know all this stuff and then not have enough money to take advantage of it. But I mean, at least I'll have a million. At least, I'll, I'll have at least a million dollars before taxes when this is all over. But you know, this is my chance to be a multi-millionaire. Um, I don't know. I'll make ten million. That's like Bitcoin would have to be worth a one to two million dollars, and I would have to have enough nerve to hold past December twenty twenty one. The odds of that are nah, pretty sketch. But maybe maybe what happens is at the end of 2021, Bitcoin skyrockets to a million or two million dollars, right? And then correspondingly, all these other cryptocurrencies, with the possible exception of XRP, will go up uh, accordingly as well. Because because I also factor in time. Time is the more important thing. Because again, Bitcoin and crypto bull runs usually last 11, 12 months, maybe 13, but usually 11 months. Because that's what I've experienced personally in 2011, 2017, so on and so forth. Uh, I'm trying to figure out who is that guy in Waza. That's Patrick Casey, right? Because uh, I know that's not Steve Franson, I think. Castizo Master Race, yes. I don't know. Oh, is that what white Mexicans are called, Castizos? Because I know Mestizos are the darker skin, right? I, I forgot. It's been a long time. Uh, Bitcoin will explode in the coming years. This is just beginning. Everything will go digital. Yeah, exactly. Still a caste system. Yep. Johnny Bravo, thanks for following. So I should hold my link. Uh, okay, I, I'm just curious. Patrick Casey. Because I don't watch or listen to him. Yeah, that's Patrick Casey. Yeah, there you go. Um, yeah. Okay. So yeah, that is Patrick Casey. Yeah, I, I just don't have any time anymore. I, I, I have my own thing. I got to set up my drop shipping store. I still want to play Tarkov. I haven't played video games in like days, maybe even a week. And I still have to keep up with my Twitter and stuff. And of course, these streams. Um, where am I? Oh, there's actually a lot for a month for a Tuesday morning. Where is Coin Telegraph? Uh, as Polkadot gains three four percent, Coin season. Coinbase announces it will suspend XRP. OK Coin latest exchange to suspend XRP trade. Oh yeah, OK Coin's actually kind of big too. Yeah, this is. Oh yeah, I didn't mention this. So other. Well, I kind of mentioned it, but yeah, as more exchanges and whatever is big and small, especially big start dumping XRP, you know, you're going to start losing that social proof. So I probably don't want to be buying Bitcoin or Ripple until after January 20th, because at least we get rid of the most important part, which is who's going to be president, right? It should still be Donald Trump, but like there's so many complex factors. <clears throat> And on top of that, when this when the stuff starts happening, right? Because again, we don't know what happens on January six. Trump starts, you know, rolling in the military and the troops. Like that's a severe black swan event. The only difference is we kind of know it. Most people don't believe it's going to happen. So because of that, it's pr that's priced into the market. So when it does happen, people will be like, "Oh my God, Trump's going Adolf Hitler mode." Oh, I don't want that, you know. So 
people will be uh, thumbing themselves up the ass, you know, in a total panic. So, uh, yeah, Castizos are the white Mexicans' legacy of... Yeah, Mazda's got, like, all the Patrick Casey emotes. <clears throat> legacy of the Hacienda system. Whites hold all seats of power and influence in Latin America. Castizo is 75% white. Mestizo is 50%. And then you got the Mulatos who are only 33% white. Ah, so that's how it goes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, well. <clears throat> well, that's an interesting race mix breakdown. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Well, I can't. I can't mention the third word, which is mulatto, because you know I don't want to risk getting banned. So, uh, but I wanted to make a comment about that in uh, <clears throat> Obama, but you know we'll have to. Well, I have to leave that to the imagination as well. XRP price faces a rocky road to car ahead of SEC. This is from twenty. Yeah. Okay. So there's actually nothing new. All right. So I guess we can go on my thing. Um, what's the timestamp right now? Oh my God. We've been. Oh man. We're already an hour over. Okay, well, uh, so, okay, uh, so we already covered Ripple, uh, this Pennsylvania stuff, uh, yeah, I do want to actually hear what Darren Beatty has to say about this, NATO is a greater threat than CCP, uh, okay, history of your work crusades bad, uh, Well, he follows me because I was about to ban him. Um, okay, well, it makes it kind of obvious. Well, all right, I don't, I don't know. I just got a little suspicious with, with that comment, but all right, whatever. Uh, thought patrol success. So I gotta take care of that dumb cunt. Uh, okay, they're trying to pull socialism. Judge who blocks voter purge in two Georgia counties ahead of Senate runoff is Stacey Abrams' sister. Yeah, totally not suspicious. Yeah, exactly. Trouble of paradise. They are scared, so we already saw that. Oh, there's that over there. Um, well. Well, I guess there's no point in stat padding my live stream. We have, we have to end it soon anyway. We're, get, we're already over an hour. January 1st. Oh yeah, I do want to play. I do want to play this. Oh wow, it's got a lot of traction. Um, Bernie Sanders, what's going on? Because I already looked into Kayla McKinney, so it's just more people bitching about her. Bernie Sanders will filibuster the override of, of NDAA unless the Senate holds a vote on 2K check. So this is actually very good. Um, and I guess that I guess Congress is in session right now. The biggest thing that nobody even knows about, and it's all signed, and it goes into effect on January 1st. And you better make sure I win. Can you imagine? This is going to be the biggest thing, and nobody understands what it is. Yeah, so there's this thing. The biggest that, thing. So he said this in September of this year, and then this in two days, there's supposed to be something happening. So, yeah. Uh, any good current... Wait. Oh. Uh, forgot about the Criollos, myself, ethnically Spanish. My family didn't mix with the natives, but with other Euros who migrate. Well, yeah, then that means you're still white, essentially. I, mean, I consider all Europeans and most Russians to be white. Chad Castizo, crypto miner versus virgin. Uh, <laughs> uh, that word, lawnmower. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Any good coins to consider buying? I'm new. Uh, Litecoin. That's what I'm in. You can also do Bitcoin and Ethereum if that's your thing. I would actually avoid everything else, believe it or not. <clears throat> Just stick with the original uh, major cryptos. Uh, and of course, avoid XRP. But ethnically, Spanish best. Uh, I gotta be a little careful because I don't want to get banned. <laughs> but best part, yes. All about the angle, folk lens, blank race. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's something I never understood. Like white people do seem to like egg on other white people. It's like, well, my white culture is better than your white culture. It's like, dude, it's uh, you're still all white, like. You know, even like when it comes to Asians, like I just consider everybody Asian, even though I can differentiate between Koreans, Japanese, 
in Chinese and Mongolian and, you know, whatever, right? It's like, uh, I just think people just get a little too carried away with it, you know? It's like, <laughs> you know, but no, nah, that's just me. All right, so in two days, you know, we'll see what happens. Um, there are claims that the Biden group was tested by the DOD, oh yeah, and then revealing inaccurate naval movements to them, and then China had the intelligence within 30 minutes, hence the transition was paused. So yeah, there's definitely CCP plans, but chances are it's definitely a lot of traders. So this is the actual reason why the intel briefings are still paused. Um, now, I figure most of you don't actually read every tweet that I have, but there was an actual articles and tweets that I did put out from other people, of course, that said Trump cannot just come out and say, hey, the entire American government is infiltrated by the CCP. That's why I'm going to do Insurrection Act. Most people wouldn't believe it, and they'll just think Trump's becoming Adolf Hitler. So the reason why Trump has to slow play everything is to get everyone acquainted to the idea that there's something seriously wrong with America and everything's fundamentally broken. And that's what you're seeing. That's why there's no action, quote-unquote. There is action. It's just stealth action, just like the Nashville, uh, the Nashville operation, in which... Uh, it was not likely a bomb, you know, it was, an, there, there was, uh, I can't even say, it. I better not, I better not, but I have mentioned it before in the D-Live, so, yeah, but my, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, built the West, yes, uh, yeah, the Puritans from England, yeah, they, they built America, um, Literally Latin. Anglos built the modern modern world, but I like all your the same. It's all fun. Yeah. Yeah, I figure most people are just kind of joshing at each other. The internal fighting made us whites strong enough to conquer the world. Oh, yeah. That's an interesting way of thinking about it. I mean, with that same logic, I'd say the same thing about China. Because in China, we've had crazy civil wars. Crazy civil wars. If you want to, like, go read the history about that. Especially the Three Kingdoms period. That's like the defining moment of Chi of Chinese culture, and that's why we still have. That's why they still make video games about it to this day, like that two thousand years later. Competition led to new tech. Yeah, because you have to one up your enemy, and you're constantly under the threat. You know, you're you're forced to be creative because if you're not creative, you're you're done for. <laughs> you know, you're gonna you know wind up like all those idiots in like that show Vikings. If you ever watch that Amazon show, um, let me see. Yeah, this one. This is, this is actually a pretty good show, but I stopped watching after, like, season six. Are like, you going to wind up like all the idiots that are on the receiving end of, like, the French crossbow and the French uh, ballistas? There was this one scene where, like, you see the Vikings charging, like, a French castle, and there's, like, a narrow bridge, right? It's very narrow, and they're very packed in. So, they, so the French, they open the gates, and then you see, like, three giant ballistas, and they go pow, and they, like, kill, like like fucking at least dozens instantly of like all the Vikings. And, and then the Vikings retreat, but the problem is it's very uh, long and narrow, right? It's a very long bridge. So then they have like this, I don't want to call it, but it's like a rolling battering ram with spikes and then it just crushes everybody. It's like, <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, yeah, you know. See, I don't know what happened to the French, but they had some crazy tech at, at the time. I think they even supposedly were the, the first European country to use actual gunpowder based cannons it was very primitive because it was in like 1900s or 1100s but you know they got some kind of inspiration they got something from china and then they adapted it to like a cannon uh yeah and there was a youtube video by like the uh De world's deadliest warrior series or whatever it was called it was like the french like uh joan of arc versus something else or something i'm starting to get confused Constant warring was why we backed uh, advanced. Uh, I don't know. That sentence wasn't finished. Advanced what? Oh, advanced tech. Problem is Chinese didn't leave China, really. Well, yeah, because there were ethno-nationalists like everybody else at the time. Jesus Christ is the main difference. Yeah, that too. Byzantines, but the same concept. Yeah. Byzantine Empire embraced Jesus Christ, so that's why they lasted as long as they did. Hierarchy competition is good. That's what separates the shit libs from the right wing people. Yeah, I mean, interestingly enough, I mean, I don't know. Am I a hierarchy person? Like, I'm definitely very respectful of hierarchy. 
But, you know, I think of myself as Donald Trump. So I guess technically I am a hierarchy person because I want to be the guy in charge. So that's why I do my own thing. But, you know, I'm not very competitive because I'm getting older, you know, because it's just like, I don't, it's like, yeah, you know, it's like I can just make my own stuff. You know, I, I go around the competition, but that's because I live in like a very competitive environment usually. So that's probably why. Didn't the Japanese come from China? I have no idea. I don't know. We want good people in charge. Yeah. Well, that's uh, well, that's why everything works out the way it is. You know, you just look at the results of a person over the course of their uh, over the years. You know. So, like, who's gonna get? Who's gonna make more money? Me or this credible crypto guy who's still pushing and shilling XRP? Right. You know, I'm curious to see because, like. Everything, because he said, I have all these negative things, and if it happens, then I might shit on XRP. Well, it happened. So what's Credible Crypto going to do? I'm actually curious to see, because he hasn't posted a new video yet. All right, he's, he's still shilling XRP. So he's making a lot of people lose their money. Right? Now, you'll eventually get back your money, but why would you waste all your time and money getting tied up in shitty XRP when you can just get the good stuff right now? Right? Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin. I don't even bother with any of these other coins, but you could if you want, but the safe bets are right here, right? The original coins, the original coins, like tried and tested and proven. All right, so let's, let's try to wrap this up. Uh, otherwise the bit shoot thing's not going to process properly. Uh, Trump will be a my, oh yeah, I had to be a little, I had to change my wording just a little bit because you know, I don't gotta be careful about the Roman stuff. He'll be admired for thousands of years. Okay. Also, I do want to avoid attracting the uh, wig nets. So, yeah, here's us pressuring Mike Pence, uh, rest of traders, and then there's just me more farming, more more tweets. Because, yeah, actually, how much how much did I get here? Uh, not bad, four sixty three, and I came in one hour late too. Uh, yeah, I'm even doing better. I am doing almost as well as Sticks and Hammer. He's got 97,000 followers. Yeah. Yeah, see, look at this. I'm, I got, like, nobody in, like, well, not nobody, but, you know, I got a, I'm got much smaller. I'm already doing way better than everybody else, percentage-wise, by leaps and bends. Yeah. And I came in late, too, because if you can get into a Donald Trump tweet and reply, and you're, the like, the very first, like, 30 seconds... You know, you're going to get like, you actually get a, like 25% of whatever this likes and retweets is ultimately going to be because that's what everyone sees. So as long as like your tweet is not retarded, you know, people will spread it around. Oh yeah, this when I saw Nikki Haley tweet uh, trending on Twitter. Was this yesterday? Yeah, last night before I went to bed. So I tried to uh, farm this, but the reply is not going to do too well. Yeah, because her entire replies are in fasted with like 99 percent shit loves so obviously they're not going to be liking and retweeting my my, my my thing yeah and then that's yesterday so i don't want to go into that uh the clear mindedness gives us the advantage even in finance yes uh i'm not sure that what that's in reference to but if that's in reference to what uh followers of jesus christ then the answer is yes that's why I have a clear mind. I mean, I have really good ex ex instincts and experience, even without resorting to, you know, asking Jesus Christ. But that, combined with asking for Jesus Christ w for help, you know, it makes this a lot easier, right? And then I can just see, you know, not only can I see myself, but I can see everyone else, right? Because that's what, I don't know what it says about the Bible about seeing, but I know that's like a big, big thing. So, difference between you and Credible Crypto. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. All right? I'm poo-pooing on Ripple for a reason. All right? I mean, yes, because it's the right thing to do, but also because I do want to buy it at the bottom. All right? You know, so. Yeah. And on top of that, just red flags. Completely emotional, completely invested, can't admit you're wrong. That's the, that's the, that's the ultimate red line. If you cannot admit that you're wrong, well, uh... <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to start dumping. I'm going to start dumping at that point. Anyway, if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button on wherever you're watching this from, or my YouTubes at youtube.com forward slash GMC Radio. Make sure you smash that 
the subscribe button on the right hand side of this page so you continue growing this community and there is a blue screen of death on my laptop wow haven't seen that in a long time but it hasn't been rebooted in like forever so i gotta restart my mining so anyway obviously done for the week for bitcoin clown world um actually i think probably i'll title this thing oh we need a thumbnail for this uh yeah blah 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 yeah let's get a good thumbnail for ripple um let me see let's find oh i could use this actually you know the, like you know how like people you know how investors will just dive out of the uh no that's a little too much let's not do that let's not do that because someone might actually want to commit suicide um yeah, well, let's let's do this because this is also what happened, right? Because I did predict that there's a very high chance that Coinbase was going to dump XRP because they have an IPO, so they 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 can't risk holding XRP because that's just going to fuck up their IPO. So that's why Coinbase dumped it and dumped it. They did. Let's make sure, Mike. <clears throat> Here we go. <clears throat> so anyway, for those of you on YouTube, I'll see you next week. For those of you watching live stream. Maybe I'll see you either tonight or tomorrow or the next stream. Because I've basically been streaming pretty much every day. It's actually kind of exhausting. I do want to work on my dropship store. So, because I, I need my money. I need my money back from predicted scams. And, you know, it's like, I know better than this. Why do I still fall for this stupid shit? It's so frustrating. It's like, come on. You know, because I can, I, I, can, I can call the market so easily in crypto, but I still fall for stupid shit. It, it's so frustrating. Uh, but what are you going to do? So anyway, but uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so just, so, oh, I'm not in XRP. I'm just going to wait. Because even if, even if it went straight up right now, why would I take so much risk just to make 300% return? Only for it to get screwed over again by the SEC. Because they're fighting it out in court. There's just too. There's just too much. There's just too much. So I'm just out. I'm just out. Anyway, oh seven's in the chat. Uh, actually, I might uh, I might ask you some stuff later, Ryan, on Discord. But I think I have a good handle on the drop shipping stuff. I because some of the products that I found actually do ship from America. They actually have some product in America, so it actually gets to the customer very quickly. So, uh, yeah, and I, and I did not have to pay for the DSER's uh, premium plan. So that saves me 20 bucks a month. So, anyway, see you guys next week or in the next stream, whoever you are. And always remember, Johnson Chan, GMC Coin, 100 Coin, Speed Coin, Seditionist Tower Defense. Uh, it's too bad that I don't have time to promote my little game here. Uh... Let's see. Yeah, I do like that. That's actually the XRP symbol with a sad face. That's actually pretty creative. <laughs> I like it. <laughs>